Hello, I'm Dr. John Perlman, Beverly Hills plastic surgeon and surgeon for the ABC TV show Extreme Makeover. I thought it might be of interest to you to hear my thoughts about how I like to create the most natural looking facelift result for my patients. It's a very important issue because we've all seen patients or friends at a party who have a you know, scar line in front of it, their ear that's visible or a lack of a sideburn that they try to cover up. We just have a pulled on natural look and achieving balance in a facelift is, is really priority number one. Um, I like to have a result that's long lasting and rejuvenating but not one that's obvious and pulled looking for my patients. So to achieve that we have to blend a few things in, in balance to make sure that we get the best result for our patients. And number one that involves restoring volume where it's been lost, both fatty volume in the upper face sometimes in the cheek hollows and often in the nasal labial lines, as well as the loss of bone, because the bone kind of erodes in the cheek as we get older. So those are areas that we can restore by transferring fat either from the lower face upward or often from the stomach where we harvest fat through liposuction, wash the fat, and place the fat into the face in specific areas. And the benefit of that is that it also carries stem cells with it that I found creates a rejuvenation of the skin that otherwise you don't achieve just with surgery alone. In addition to uh, restoring volume in the face and transferring stem cells for skin rejuvenation, uh, we like to lift the cheek pad, uh, lift the jowl area, tighten the platysma muscle, the bands, that, the muscle that creates the bands under the neck, as well as lifting the skin. And finally, <clears throat> once that has all been done, uh, we need to remove excess skin and I don't believe in making a very short incision uh, because it restricts how much skin can be removed and I think ultimately the excess of skin when you're in your 50s, 60s and 70s is certainly part of the equation for success in terms of rejuvenating the face. None of this should be done excessively I might add, especially putting fat into the face and when necessary into the lips to, and even the earlobes to restore some of the volume that we lose with aging. So raising the cheek pad, tightening the muscle, lifting what's called the SMAS or the SMAS layer of the face, all contribute to a balanced, long-lasting, uh, beneficial result. Camouflaging the incisions, <clears throat> extremely important. If you've seen somebody who apparently appears not to have uh, a sideburn, it's often due to a facelift where the incisions are poorly planned or planned in a way that's the easiest and quickest uh, method of uh, sewing it up but that raises the sideburn and for women that's uh, irreparable uh, and they have to comb their hair and style their hair over the front of their ear to cover it up. So that's to be avoided as is a, um, uh, a jagged edge of the hairline behind the ear with a loss of hair from improper planning of the incision. I can do the, uh, make the incisions in a way that make them almost invisible and functionally invisible uh, such that at a party, if somebody's standing across from you looking at your cheek, they're not going to know that you've had a facelift. In fact, it looks impossible because there's no continuity of the incision in front of the ear. It's designed to go partly behind this area of the ear, um, around the sideburn, so the sideburn's not pulled up, and down irregularly irregular in front of the hairline, so that the hairline isn't altered. This all adds up to a long-lasting natural result. My patients, and I aim to have them have a good result that lasts for a good 10 to 12 years. And I like them to look 10, maybe 15 years younger, and very often they do. There are also ancillary procedures that you can add after you've healed, including Botox, filler injections, uh, chemical peels for maintenance and rejuvenation of the skin, and even fractionated laser peels, which also restore a youthful look to your skin. So balance ends up being the most important uh, uh, goal that we have. Nothing pulled looking, nothing unnatural. Um, I hope you learned a little bit uh, about my perspective and I would welcome your visiting my website www.perlmanmd.com to learn more and see many before and after examples in the photo gallery or call my office 310-854-0031 if you'd like to arrange a consultation here in Beverly Hills so that we can meet in person we can discuss how I can possibly help you to look better and feel better about yourself. Thanks for listening. Have a great day, and I do look forward to meeting you in person. Bye-bye.